the tree is old. We moved in here in 72. We got attached to the tree and it, it's a sentimental tree, you know. My wife just passed here in Valentine's Day and, and uh, she was pretty attached to the tree. And, but one of them has a, a dead top in it, so that tells me that, the, you know, it's time to get it cut down because of, of uh, the damage it would do. We're here in Battleground, Washington, salvaging a 175-year-old walnut tree. This tree was planted pre-Civil War. These were Oregon Trail pioneers. My name is Daniel Levin, uh, Vice President at GL Veneer. Jeff Levin, owner of GL Veneer Company in Huntington Park, California. Started there in uh, 1977. My dad started the company, three generations. What really makes this project special and unique is the story. Ray and his family have enjoyed this tree and climbed in its branches and played under it and taken naps under it and done all the things they've done throughout its life. To be able to transition that tree from its lifetime of giving to the family to now be able to take it and turn it into a, a usable material that people can create their works of art from is very special. We're working with John and John Rodius. These guys are third generation, bring a lot of talent and experience. My name is John Rodius, and I'm the owner of Harvest Recovery Services. I've been a logger for 40 years. very specific on who we work with. These guys have been doing this for a long time, bring a lot of talent and experience and doing it the right way. What we did yesterday is initial start of taking the tree down, taking the canopy out of it and, and manufacturing different sizes of logs and trying to figure out where we can get veneer and cabinetry wood lumber as we work our way down the tree till we finally get to the stock of the tree for giant slabs and or veneer. All trees have a lifespan. As a landowner, you should harvest it same as an, uh, a garden before it goes bad. Everything has its time. Uh, Pete Seeger sings the song, Turn, turn, turn. There is a season. Looking at the use for this tree, we're probably going to do a few different things. Utilize the upper limbs to slice thick walnut veneer. The lower trunk section will use four slabs, big giant dining room, conference room tabletops that are just going to be epic proportions and, and unbelievable pieces. What we're looking at is movement in the grain, the light color and dark color, the variegation. Uh, those squiggly lines that just go around, not in a perfect circle, but in you know all different directions. That means there's just gorgeous, beautiful grain inside. It's it's perfect. Everything we could have hoped for and more. These trees left standing would die and rot from the inside and otherwise be unusable. That would becomes decayed and, and doesn't become usable lumber. So what we're doing here is actually very timely in taking it down at the point of its life that it can be repurposed and turned into a piece of furniture that will last for generations. Mm -hmm. 